Hey, what's going on? I appreciate you coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 video. In this one, I was going to give my own take over the Vault Quarters shelter that just recently came out in Fallout 76. This is a new shelter that we can acquire, and it costs us 1,500 atoms. So yeah, it's pretty expensive, especially nowadays, since acquiring atoms is more difficult. So I thought doing a little review and giving my take over this would help people better decide on whether or not they want to purchase this. Anyways, as you can see, for the description for it, it's pretty straightforward. It says, give your friends their own space in your vault quarters shelter. Features four separate living spaces. And then it states to build this entrance to access your quarters shelter. Shelter entrances can be placed in camp mode. So yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. Let's just go ahead and purchase this and see what it's all about in game. Gotta love that sound effect, it's satisfying. And real quick here, just as a reminder, if you find this kind of content enjoyable and useful, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on the video. That'd be greatly appreciated, it helps out a lot. As always though, that is totally up to you if you wanna take the time to do so or not. Just leaving a friendly reminder here in the beginning. This will actually be my first time diving into this in game. I'm excited to see what this is all about. I guess I'm just going to have to place it in the bunker I already have finished here. Uh, just for an example, I am going to delete this later. I'm also going to be giving a tour over this Cranberry Bog Settlement Bunker soon, by the way. So stay tuned for that. Man, this is being kind of tricky to place right now. Hang on, I'm just going to delete all this stuff for now. Okay, um, good enough for now. It works. Let's check this out. I don't want to spoil too much over the bunker that I'm going to be touring in the future. Alright, here we are. Let's get into this. Oh, this reminds me when we first come out of the vault in Vault 76, where they had a the little uh, soccer field set up at, and there's a bunch of balloons around. I like this setup. Okay, and I'm going to be real with you. I've already seen some things about this over here on Twitter, but oh my gosh, look at this, guys. We got an aquarium in our shelter now. We got live fish in here. This is insane. You can see the flora down there as well. They're swimming around in. Oh my gosh. You see that? That's a scuba diver helmet. What the heck? Can I zoom in? Yeah, get out my camera. What? That's neat. I wonder if there's any other little Easter eggs or secrets in there. That is so cool, though. I have to admit. That's my first time actually seeing it in-game. Like, I've seen photos over it and people talking about it. Oh my gosh, there's a... Wait, no. Though I saw a skeleton behind the helmet. But it's just the floor. <laughs> this is my first time actually being in-game and seeing it for myself. And actually seeing the fish move and everything. I've only seen photos. Oh my gosh. And just the atmosphere near the sound. It's soothing. I was curious about what it would sound like in here. It's pretty relaxing. So anyways, let's continue the to tour over this now. As you can see in the main lobby here over the quarters shelter, there's two different rooms it looks like we get Two. This room looks like this. And the one over here looks like this. Oh, okay, so this one is deeper in. And this one over here has more width to it. It's wider. That's what it seems like, anyways. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with this bunker yet, but I think I might make a bunker build over this bunker soon not sure what I'm gonna build in here yet but anyways now since we got a good overview over what's down here let's head upstairs now digging how the stairs are set up here like this little hallway I'm excited to come up with something within this bunker it's something fresh to build in oh my gosh The sound is so relaxing. This is awesome. We get an upper view too. So we can see that scuba diver suit easier there. Um, 
Anything else? I can see from this angle. Any kind of secret or little Easter egg they might have added in here? Man, if we're already getting stuff like this inside our shelters, it's just insane to think about what else they may be adding in the future. Like, this is amazing. Anyways, looks like we also have another room here. It looks like this inside. Pretty cozy. I like the lighting in here, too. It's not super bright or over the top in there. For just default lighting. And in here, oh my gosh. Wait, what? Dude, just seeing this out here makes me wonder if they could ever make a shelter that has a cave atmosphere. Instead of it feeling like we're in a vault, we're instead inside a cave. But still, nonetheless, this is amazing. That's just my first thought when I seen the outside of this. Um, I just immediately thought about like, what if they just made the whole shelter with that kind of atmosphere outside? So it's like we're inside a cave or something. That'd be kind of crazy. But then again, vaults are kind of, you know, vaults things. So I don't see them actually doing that. I don't think that would actually protect us from a nuke either. It may collapse on us like, like it does with Earl Williams or something, you know. So we may not get full protection or whatever. You know, now that I think about it, that does kind of break immersion, don't it? I don't know. It was just a thought that came to my head that would be pretty neat to have in the game. Still, nonetheless, I really love what they did here. This is, this is awesome. And yet, there's also an additional room here as well. Pretty decent sized room. And it's right outside of the unique room where you can look out the window to see the atmosphere. So yeah, there's an overview of it. Overall, do I think this is worth the atoms? Um, yeah, this is the best shelter, in my opinion, that we have gotten. It's a decent size, and it comes with some really unique things within it. However, um, if you don't really play Fallout much, I, I don't really suggest it, obviously. I mean, that's an obvious statement there. Also, of course, keep in mind this is 1,500 atoms, so that's quite a bit of atoms. If you do have Fallout first, then... Yeah, I suggest possibly spending the atom points that you may have acquired. However, if you have to take out of your own funds, then I definitely don't suggest this if you're running low on funds, of course, and if you don't even really build much in general, because you may not even get your money's worth out of it. Overall, I feel like I've got my money's worth out of it because I have plans to use this shelter and build in it, and I like the unique features that it comes with. The fish swimming around, as well as the little atmosphere that they have set up that we can look at through the windows. I like that. Also, something else to point out that's pretty handy to know. Every shelter that you get in the game counts as its own instance. And what that means is, say like I enter into this atrium shelter. I will have a fresh budget to work with inside this atrium shelter. Even if I've maxed my quarters shelter, plus the original shelter that we started out in. Something also pretty cool is you can make access points to any of the shelters within here from any other one. So we can make an access point into the original shelter that we started out in from inside this atrium shelter here. So we don't have to technically enter the original shelter from just specifically outside. That's also something pretty neat. And keep in mind, you can use all of the bunkers inside of each bunker. It's pretty crazy. It's going to continue to get crazier and crazier. It's like we have our own little worlds in a sense, if you think about it, because of how much budget and room we have to use with each new shelter that we get. I mean, think about it. I don't know, it's kind of insane to me. I think I may end up adding some trees in this section that we got from the, I believe, the spring bundle in the atomic shop. But yeah, I guess that's about wrapping up this video, everybody. Hopefully you all enjoyed this review over the new shelter, and it helped make up your mind on whether or not you're going to get this. In the end, after all, it is totally up to you if you want to make the decision to spend 1,500 atoms on this shelter. Consider leaving a like if you find this kind of content enjoyable. That would be greatly appreciated. It helps get the video more passed around, to be real with you. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. And remember, try to stay safe out there during these unusual times. Peace.